Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Life is Strange, Episode 2. Previously on Life is Strange, we made a series of most likely poor choices, and then global warming happened. In the previous episode of Life is Strange... Get that guy away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Choose widely. Because your choices will affect the past, present, and future. Except for the global warming thing. That's more of a humanity choice. So you're pretty fucked either way. Nothing to be depressed about. I had a horrible dream, it was snowing. When it shouldn't be snowing. And there was a lot of melodrama. And really angry people who really hate me. Do you copyright claims? I have to mute this song, by the way. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. I wonder if it's going to be the same interactions I saw last time, or maybe there'll be new ones. You don't like emoji? This demands a table flipping emoji. Okay. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like, Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. I'll need these. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Let's hit those showers! Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. No, that thing is totally still in style. Frogs are in. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? No. God, no. I don't want to play the guitar. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. My plant's still alive. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. 
the game did say this would have consequences, so... <laughs> Still so silly. Take a selfie, they'll come back to haunt me somehow. Take your power seriously. That's an awful selfie. It's the emotion or terrible facial expression. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? Not for in a couple more episodes. It will be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. For my life, that was that easy. Cartier, Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. God, I can see what you mean. Uh, the trash it goes. Insane. It sounds logical to me. Time travelers. What was the one time travelers name on the internet? This uh, whole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I'm pretty sure its first name was jo John Titor or John Teeter or something like that. I would like say that. this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around Nope. Here. Gordon, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. Oh, it's missing photos. Seen that. No hey, you want to go take a shower with me? No? Okay. Oh, she fixed that. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Depression and lost phones. The marks of Satan. You were racing with hands. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Don't be a zombie. Please rewind. They live. I actually partially agree. That's another subject. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Yep, it's really mature of you. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Thanks for the warning. Okay, hit those showers. But first, check out the rest of the hallway. What's up? Oh, you just have to keep playing copyright and music, you bastards. This is both sad and pathetic. Yeah. Halloween that costumes? It's so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. 
Trevor's jacket. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Rollerblades! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Hey, I see you're pretty distracted. I'm gonna go over here and yes, you says. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Oh, don't say that out loud, dork. That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. No one, no one seems to care. Hmm. Hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Hey. Mind turning down the stomach system music? What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh. Yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a raid. Let's start one step at a time. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? I actually have no idea what they're talking about. I feel pretty lost. Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. I'm satisfied enough. What's going on? Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Uh, who's in here? Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Nothing I already know about. Last room I haven't checked. Go away! People are leaving! Yeah, you're really sleeping all right. Water power? I'm so not there. I'm good to flow, thanks. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. 
Flu shot is not in guaranteed success depending on the year and the various strains going around. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? Awful. I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Rewind time. Return it before she even asks. Creep her out. Show, 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 show. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yo, my teenage is so mean. All over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Time to rewind time and hack your computers. Stupid evil teenagers. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Hello, water. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Who's in the shower right now, anyway? Eh, whatever. Let's just go back and get the rest. No fucking way. Yes. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Maybe we should rewind time and leave some kind of weird booby trap right here. Really Scooby-Doo style. Kind of like the paint bucket thing, except something else, you know. 
Then you're like the masker, and it's like, let's see who this person really is. It's a complete bitch. Essentially. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Oh, it's Nathan. I'm I'm accusing the wrong person. Doesn't really make her any better though, considering she's still a sadistic person, but uh it's the person club, you know? Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Can I take this to the police? This is like evidence right here. No, maybe not. Smaller town. Small town cops usually corrupt. No book here. <sighs> oh, she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Try to hide behind the drink, did you? This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. Let's see. Can I finally get dressed? Yes. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Break it before a fall. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. I I'm pretty sure everyone knows where I sleep. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan, but it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. <sighs> School sucks. Already. Where is Kate anyway? Bathroom, maybe? Why would I return to the bathroom? I'd probably have to return it to her room. Stella, Taylor's. Kate. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. So guess who's raiding my room? You wouldn't believe who. But a psychopath. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. <sighs> Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Is this supposed to be some weird... It, it feels kind of funny. I don't know if anyone else knows that. But it's a very sad setup room, it's a very sad atmosphere. And they throw in a, a violin, and violin is usually associated with sadness, in so many words. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had they just kind of throw everything in there. I don't know what to believe now. Everything by the book. I suppose some people are. Walking stereotypes, Maybe Kate though, has so. a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Yep. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until I haven't lately. heard that word in a long time. That's a lot of tears. She's going... Kate really has a doting father. I 
I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. The world's saddest rabbit. Ouch. She left out amnation. <sighs> Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would, but it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Hmm. I keep feeling like he's gonna be an ally in the long run. If he's gunning for the Vortex Club, and this is all connected, I don't think he's part of the bad side of the conspiracy. I think he's just an ass who, you know, may have right intentions, but he has like a bully in his heart. You know what I mean? Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. I don't know if this actually helps. I don't like any of these responses, actually. This is... Uh, I'm gonna go with this. So, why would you go? Lapse of sanity? I just thought I could meet some new people. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. And they probably slipped you a molly or something. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Fucking Nathan. Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? <sighs> I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. We have to focus on the the aftermath, not taking the video down. 
and prosecuting. Harder than it sounds. So Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? This really all depends on how typically corrupt the cops are in this town. If this is a small town and he's in from elite family, and if the cops are all related, then you know you're frankly you're fucked. Until you get the ever courts in. Long process. But looking for proof is plain detective. And I can go terribly wrong. Just terribly wrong. I'll try out... I'll try out the decisions and I'll rewind. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. No! And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Try the other one. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Life is Strange teaches you the important things of how you'll be blamed for everything. A lot of choices you make will have no effect. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. In either way, life is strange. This is actually a toss-up to me. Are we going to actually go and find evidence? Or should we give her false hope by having her go to cops and bringing evidence afterwards? In real life, I would say always go to the cops. But then if the media gets attached to it, they can help out later. Since this is a game, it's going to be contrived, that's not going to happen. So I'm going to go with the cop option anyway though, because that's what I would actually suggest. But yeah, I'm gonna go with that and... Oh, easy mochi.
Amen. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. You're... You're an odd janitor version of... The one artist, I I, re I really don't know why I can't remember his name, but so what did very you think positive about person. That freak snow shower yesterday. Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Hell no. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Yes, feed them a chocolate bar. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. I definitely won't play with this thing again. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Oh boy. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but... Why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. You know it. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. Of course you. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. No, let's totally fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, Let's just talk, for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her, I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick, but whatever. We've had our talk. Ouch. Taylor. Conversation over. 
Taylor. Conversation over. Taylor. Conversation over. Taylor. Conversation over. Taylor. Conversation over. Taylor. Conversation over. Taylor. Conversation over. Taylor. Conversation over. Taylor. Conversation over. Taylor. Conversation over. Taylor. Conversation over. Hi, Taylor. Hi. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Oh, interesting. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. Max, check it out. Yeah, sure, whatever, go for it. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Whatever. An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. No nope. fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. That's terrible. Let's go ape! Plan the Apes? No, not the marathon. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. Mr. Nathan Prescott. Not be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. For a long bus ride. Bus ride with muted music.
talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same.